Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the reverse camera on these things. I see a lot of people complaining that when you put it in reverse, now this thing has 360 camera, so you get the whole view around, but the reverse camera is kind of junk. I don't know if you can really see it through there. It looks like something that they would have filmed those Sasquatch and Ogopogo videos back in the day. It could have been a lot clearer, especially nowadays. Cameras are relatively cheap. You can get cheap ones off of Amazon that are 4K even. And this thing looks like trash. But what people don't understand is this is supposed to be an aid for you, not your eyeballs. It's an aid. So if you want to know how to fix this, how to get it a little clearer, now this doesn't just work in the Frontier. It works in every vehicle. If you want to see behind you, what you do, you come straight up here. And this mirror here is not just to look at your pretty face. If you look back there, past the camera, you can actually see the same thing that is showing in your backup camera. And you might say, well, being a truck, I can't see those lines back there, Kyle. Here's a tricky thing. If you come back down here, you look to your right, you can see there's another mirror on the passenger side. You can see the line back there, gives you guides of where you got to go. And then if you come over to your driver's side, there's another mirror. And look at that right there. There's your line. So let's say we want to back up and park in that spot. All you got to do, put your car in reverse. You aim, turn your steering wheel. You come up, you get close, you straighten her out. This one has sensors, so it'll beep at you. And now that is the time, if you don't know exactly where the back of your truck is, you look at the camera, you can come up, and bang, it'll even hit the brakes for you. There you go, easy peasy. It's 4K, the highest definition you'll ever see. It's almost as if you're using your own eyeballs, and away you go. Lucky for us, this one has a forward-facing camera as well. So again, if you just look straight out the front window, you put it in drive, and you want to park in that spot over there. These spots are a little bit crooked from each other. So we pull up, and again, maybe you're not 100% sure where your nose is. You can now hit the camera button. It'll show you the forward-facing camera. And again, you can nose up, get as close as you want, Put it in park, and you are all good to go. If you want to know whether you're straight or not, you can see the lines in the 360 camera. So simple as that. All you got to do, turn your head slightly to the right, slightly to the left, and just point your eyes upwards, and you're good to go. So you got to remember, these cameras are not to be used for backing up completely. You still have to pay attention to where you are. And if you just learn to drive a little bit, you'll be happy and you won't have to worry about complaining about fuzzy cameras. So there you have it guys. Like I said, use your eyes, use your mirrors. If you can't see it in this camera, it means you are not close enough that you should be using that camera in the first place. When you're close enough to where you need to be and you need the extra little help, like I said, it's a guide, not mandatory. Use your eyes, turn your head, learn how to drive and you won't have to complain on the internet anymore. Thanks for watching, everybody.